Hello everyone, it's Brandy Janae. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. Welcome if you're new, welcome back if you're returning. In today's video, I just want to do a quick Happy Mail unboxing because I'm nosy and I don't wanna to wait to see what's in this package because I've already pre-filmed my other videos. So, yep, nosy girl here checking in to open some Happy Mail. So if you're interested in seeing this, please be sure to stay tuned. Okie dokie. So I have this one here from Ellie on Earth. It is her group play for the month of October. I don't know what that says, but it's like a Halloween one. So that's fun. I look forward to doing this. I haven't done one of her uh, group plays in a while. So it looks like this will go one, two, three, four. So it'll do um, October and November. So I'm going to add this to my group play binder. So thank you, Ellie. All right. And then this one, I honestly don't know who this is from. Um, Don't worry about getting older. You're still younger than your next birthday. So this is from Canadian Finance Journey. Oh, shucks. Look at me knocking stuff over. I don't remember this. I don't, <laughs> I'm like, I don't know if I ordered this. That's a cute sticker though. Thank you so much for joining my very first group play. I really hope you enjoy your freebies as a way for me to say a huge thank you for your support on my YouTube channel. You can save with it as much as you wish. All numbers are between one and nine. Doesn't matter which scratch off you receive. Please, please feel free to modify the amounts if needed to fit your budget. Happy savings. And this is from Bob, Bobby at the Canadian Finance Journey. Oh, that's cute. So it's like another group play. That is so cute. So yeah, I don't, I'm going to have to look this, I don't remember signing up for this. So I'm going to have to look this up to see what, um, you know, like what, what she's doing with that, what they're doing with that, because I don't know, honestly, I don't remember, I don't remember signing up for another group play, but that's exciting. Oh, and then there were these extra stickers down in the um, package. So thank you, Bobby. But yeah, definitely going to have to go find a video so I can see what that's all about because I don't know. <laughs> um, I also picked up a small order from Nita over at the Organized Owl. Um, the Almost Organized Owl, sorry. So she is a channel that I watch on YouTube regularly. And her beautiful daughters created their first savings challenge. And so I decided to go ahead and pick those up and then grabbed some other items. So she did send me these as a freebie um, with the sticker. And then this little scratch off, it did get a little bent and scratched up in the envelope, but you know, such is life. And then this super cute card, which is also a challenge and it does have a coupon code on the back. So that's why I went ahead and opened this. And because of the box, I wasn't able to open it without showing you guys my address. It had my personal address on there and not my like business address, like most of my packages. So, yeah. Um, so anyway, I ordered this little uh, money tray just because I thought it was super cute. And, you know, it'll be nice to switch it up from every once in a while from just the plain clear. So now I have this super cute pink one. So fun, fun, fun. And last. Well, no, not last. <laughs> Um, Bloom Planners reached out to me again, and I was so, so, so excited because I absolutely adore this company, and I like being able to work with them. So they did ask me if I would be willing to show you guys another item from their shop. This, oh, that just reminds me, I forgot to read this. This is also from Bloom Planners. It says, go home and write, allow yourself to see where your mind will take you and what the Lord wants you to see. Creating the space to do it is the first step in letting yourself learn from him. I love that. So definitely I have become more of a journal writer and it has been really nice just getting, you know, all my thoughts and ideas out on paper. 
Um, so anyway, sorry. So, but that is from Bloom Planners too. So if you're interested in one of those, I do always have their link in my description box just because I love everything. And this time I decided to go ahead and pick up this. It's a um, 2025 planner. And I love this in a world where you can be anything, be kind. You go, you guys know that is my thing. So it's like a softer cover, but not like, um, it almost feels like, like one of those fancy file folders. So not like the manila file folders, but like the fancy ones. I don't know how to explain it, but there is a little pocket here. And then you have your cover page. I like that. So you can put your contact information, your mission statement, and then your word of the year. And then in here, oh, okay. So there's some information about the company. Here is a um, yearly calendar for 2025. A letter to myself. That's so cute. I love that amazing, capable human. That's cute. Um, so here are some like goals for growth things not to do. That's nice. Um, your values, the year of more of this and less of this. I like that. What brings you joy? I love my, oh, this is nice. I love myself because, and I feel best when, and it gives you all of those things. I love this. It's a great thing to like think about and reflect on. Um, plan to bloom. So all of the, all of the things that you would like to do for this upcoming year. And then you can either make your vision board here or just kind of write things. I like to make my vision board on Canva, but it will be cool to like make it and then just stick it here so it's in one place. Um, an ideal week, a weekly schedule template. This is nice. Then you have your monthly spending summary, your monthly bill payment tracker. And that's actually what I'll be using this for. So I'm going to be adding this to my budgeting system. Um, I'm going to continue using my regular budget planner. But this one I really want to use for like my savings challenges because it does get very hard for me to keep track of like what I'm actually saving. Um, and so I'm hoping that utilizing this will kind of help me. Um, so you do have your habit tracker here some random acts of kindness. I love that. And there's like one thing for each month or two things for each month. What does it say? 24 acts of kindness this year. Yeah, I love that. So, you know, different things that you can do for the month. That's really cool. And then you can just kind of like, you know, color in the little heart to let yourself know that you did it. Obviously it doesn't, I mean, I know this says January, but it doesn't really have to go in order. I don't, I wouldn't think. Just whatever, you know, works out for you. But I do really, really like that. Then you have some note pages. And this page is like, it's like regular, you know, computer paper. So it's not, I don't know if it tells you like what the GSM and all that stuff is. But it's not, it's not heavy. Like it's a, you know, a thinner paper. Oh, so there's quite a few note pages in there. Then you get to your monthly section. So it is the horizontal layout. Um, so it starts it at December 30th. I like the tabs. I love the colors. Like, yeah, I really like the colors. Oh, that's just completing this week. Okay. Then you have your monthly calendar and then the rest of the weeks. And they're all the same, except for this one has, how can you be more kind to yourself this month? then pass that love on to others. So this one almost has like a journaling prompt on there, which is kind of cool. Um, so then it goes into February and it looks like everything is the same. I like this. It has all of the holidays, especially like this uh, random acts of kindness day. So your non-traditional holidays as well. I just kind of want to see at the end of the month, does it always put that? Yeah, okay. So at the end of the month, it always puts that little like reflection um, thought kind of thing down there. So that's cool. So then obviously it goes all the way through, um, you know, through each month of the year. And then once you get back here to December, you have your monthly highlights. That's cool. Um, your 2026. So that's cool. So you can kind of plan ahead, especially for things like because I'm going to use this more for like the budgeting side, like, you know, things that I know, like my car registration, um, 
I don't know, any other major things that, you know, will affect my budget, traveling plans, you know, those kinds of things. It'd be nice to kind of have that. Um, important dates for next year again. So these kind of go, you know, hand in hand to me. And then a year of growth. So this is just taking a moment to reflect on your growth for the year. It did come with one sheet of stickers back here in this little pocket. And then this little bookmark which says, forget perfection, let's just make progress. I like that. So it's one of the magnetic bookmarks. So yeah, you guys, this is nice. Um, I honestly don't remember how much it was, but it is, you know, nice. And it will be a really good, like, on-the-go planner size. I am not a huge fan of the horizontal layout, just like for my regular planning. I don't know, for some reason, my mind just can't it can't follow this. So this is perfect for me for like scripture writing or for in this case budgeting because it gives me the space, the width to write what I need to write. I don't know, for some reason my mind just focuses better vertical when I'm doing that. So for instance, when I'm doing my savings challenges, like this is the plan. <laughs> so when I'm doing my savings challenges, like, you know, first week of January or whatever, if I complete a challenge or anything like that, I would like to record that here or even the challenges that I'm doing, I would like to record here because even when I'm like editing my videos, sometimes it's really hard for me to remember that I have to go back and remember which challenges I was doing so that I can you know, put those in the description box. Like it's a whole, it's a whole ordeal. So I just want to have a better record of the challenges that I'm doing, um, the amount that I'm saving. And then that way I can keep a better track of like my progress throughout the year. I started off with a little um, savings tracker, but then as the year progressed, I just, I just lose it. So I'm hoping that keeping a record of it will help me. Yes, I could put it in my other planner, but... <laughs> I don't know. I just like I just like this information separate and I like it to be a little bit more compact so it can fit with my regular binders versus carrying that big thing around, um, you know, and kind of having it like this will sit on my desk with my, let's say, binder. Like, you know, what I mean, so it just gives me more flexibility, whereas having the bigger thing down, it just takes up so much more space. So anyway, that was my thought process on this. And again, it's another way of using a planner besides in the traditional sense. So I'm all about that and I'm so excited. So thank you so much, Bloom, for reaching out to me again. I love this and I cannot wait to put it to good use in January. All right, you guys. And then last, but absolutely not least, <laughs> because your girl had to go and spoil herself again <laughs> you guys oh, isn't this the coolest uh they showed out with this one y'all they showed out with this one um yeah so in addition to my starbucks obsession i now have a stanley obsession so <laughs> i saw this um, a while back actually on Instagram and I was like, I'm never going to get it. Like these things typically sell out so, 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 so quickly. I was like, I'm never going to get one and I'm going to be so sad. But surprisingly, they were like, they were like all available. I could not, I could not believe it. Oh my gosh. It even has a little like, what is this? You guys, they did the most with this. Oh my gosh. It comes with little stickers. <laughs> Yeah, they did the most with this. So cute. And it's funny because when this movie came out, everybody's like, are you going to see the Barbie movie? And I was like, ew, no. Because I didn't know. Like, I didn't know in my mind what I thought it was going to be. And actually what it was was two different, you know, totally different things. I just thought it was going to be some like, you know, cutesy little, yay, look at me, Barbie. Let's get dressed, you know, um, kind of thing. I didn't realize it was like a women's empowerment type situation. So I was very impressed with the movie. Um, I actually ended up seeing it twice <laughs> in theater. So, yeah, I really, really liked it. This box, though, you guys, I mean, I love the cup. Don't get me wrong. But it's the box for me, bro. Like. That is so cool. Like they made a real Barbie box. <laughs> yeah, it's the box for me. 
it's the box for me for sure. Um, so like that, the box just took it up a whole other level. But yeah, I just thought it was so beautiful. Pink is not even like my favorite color. Blue is my favorite color. But this, oh no, what's that? Okay, minor imperfection. Chill out. Um, but yeah, this is. Oh wait, no. Mm -mm, this got way too many scuffs. No, look at this. Well, that's disappointing because these things cost a lot of money. Look at this already like scratched up. Mm -mm. Yeah, they're gonna have to replace this because that's gross. Um, hopefully they can replace this because yeah, I don't like that, and I was gonna live with that, but then this, no, unacceptable. Mm 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 mm. Nope, not for like a $60 cup. <laughs> so anyway, it has the pink on the inside, the lid, your straws, like a, you know, magenta kind of, oh my gosh, that's broken. Oh yeah, mm-mm, no. Okay, so anyway, yeah, I'm gonna have to contact them to return this because <laughs> that is way too many imperfections for the price. I was super excited. I am super excited, but only if they can replace it. I will be bummed if they cannot. But yeah, they're going to have to fix this because that's gross. <sighs> Anywho, <laughs> that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Also, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. If you have not already done so, I am still on the road to... 3k and we're getting a little bit closer each day so thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you for that you guys are amazing i hope you enjoyed this bonus video be safe be kind or be quiet and be well and i'll catch you in the next one